fresh. So we're getting some fresh goat meat here to go cook now, right? Fresh goat meat curry. So stay tuned for that. So look, Uncle, hook up here, put a nice fresh, fresh snapper. Yes, Uncle, do you think? <laughs> and you're all cut them up now. What, what is your name again? Aquaba. Aquaba. Come and check it out, Bloomfield Avenue. Yes. With the snapper. Snapper and the hassa. Fresh hassa. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. So look, Uncle, hook up here, put a nice fresh, fresh snapper. Yes, Uncle, do you think? <laughs> and you're all cut them up now. What, what is your name again? Aquaba. Aquaba. Come and check it out, Bloomfield Avenue. Aquaba. Yes. With the snapper. Snapper and the hassa. Fresh hassa. here so I'm gonna be cutting this up and I'm making some nice chatak pantak good curry today so I finish uh, cutting up the meat I remake the size so smaller size that I can boil right there uh, with the bigger size I don't want to use that that size you can feed tiger with anyway so I cut it smaller nice because I'm gonna be cooking inside on a small car heat so that's why it's a little bit smaller Yes, family, we also got some nice rice to go with our goat curry. Check it out, rice almost finished. So here I have my goat cut up nice, clean up, ready to go, right? Fresh goat meat right from the farm and it's gonna go directly into the pot, right? So I got my onion and pepper here, fresh bay leaf, curry leaf, green seasoning, grind garlic, my masala, curry powder, turmeric, and some grain jeera here. I got my salt and I got some other seasoning here. While I'm adding it in, I'll uh, go it over with you guys. So we're gonna be making goat curry or curry goat, however you like to call it, right? So come it's along the same with us. thing. It is the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. However you call it, right? It's the same thing. I know. We're gonna be eating uh, goat meat. And sure, the, the the bay leaf, the fresh bay leaf. This is the yeah, first time. Yeah. So we time. went to the supermarket and first time we saw fresh bay leaf so i was like all right let's get this most of the time we get the dry bay leaf right uh, but this time we got fresh one so can't go wrong with fresh one and also fresh goat meat right so come along let's go make this uh, goat curry some nice olive oil in here i give it a decent amount because i have about five or six uh, pound of uh, goat meat generous amount of oil yep generous amount of oil to get this goat meat to go in there yeah because we have a lot of meat and we have a lot of meat you see real fresh check it out Krishna real clean real nice take out all the fat and what else you take out 
the just the fat. The skin. the skin, they already skinned it from the store when we got it, so there's no need for that. And um, I know some people like to steam their meat, right, before they cook it. I prefer not to. I tried it a few times and I feel like the masala don't soak in enough from it when you steam it. So what I normally do is when I bunjal it, I let it bunge it, and whatever water, water it loose out, I let it dry out, and then I add my stuff in. So it's the same concept, right? You try to burn the fat out. So when you steam it, that's what it is for, to burn the fat out and uh, drain it out. So. Yeah, and, and the way we clean it, there is no fat or rank. We wash it with lemon and, uh, what is it, flour, right? Yep, yep. No vinegar because vinegar tends to get the meat stiffer. Yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't use vinegar because I noticed when you use vinegar in your meat, kind of make it a little bit stiffer. And you know, goat. I didn't get to see the actual live goat, so I'm not sure if it's a young goat or an old goat. So. They look like a young goat. They look young, so that's why I call it. Upon the yeah. meat, you yeah. could tell the bone is very tender. Yeah. yeah. But still, I didn't want to take the chance, so I want to make sure it boils. Plus, I'm doing it inside, right? I don't have the big fire or the fire side and the big car heat up blaze it up outside so we're gonna do it in here all right so i got my oil warm up and i'm gonna go in with my onion and pepper so i'm gonna let my uh, onion and uh, pepper fry up for a little bit and the color start to change i'm gonna go in with my other stuff right so I got the onion uh, fried up a little bit nice here, so I'm going to go in with my bay leaf and my curry leaf and let that fry up with it too. How it's looking there? Looking real good. And when you fry it up this way, it carries a nice aroma. Yep, you can smell the aroma. Unfortunately, you guys can't smell it through the thing, through the phone. So I see how this is looking there? Real good, real good. So we're gonna go in with our uh, curry powder, masala, turmeric, and grind jeera. And we're gonna let that fry up for a little bit, then we'll go in with the meat. So I got my uh, masala bunjaying up there. This is looking good, smelling real good. Adding a splash of water. Yep, we had a touch of water in it there. So you can up real nice. So we give it a decent amount of uh, masala and curry powder, right? Because it's a lot of goat meat and goat meat. You gotta get nice masala on it and curry powder. So we're gonna go in with some other seasoning now. That's the red chili powder. Paprika, black pepper. So the masala, nice and bungee up there, we're gonna go in with the fresh goat meat. A lot of meat. Yep, it's a lot of meat. So we got all the goat meat in there, we're gonna turn it up and let it mix up real nice with the masala and the curry powder and all the seasoning so that can marinate nice into it. Like I said, we're gonna let it uh, bunge and loosey water and stuff and do your thing, right? Yeah, I didn't add salt inside of it yet. So I'm gonna go in with my salt now. This is, the salt is very light. And I'll pour some spice, spice. Yep, we got some five spice seasoning here. So check it out there guys, we got everything in, now we're going to let this uh, cover up. And each part has the seasoning inside, you can see? Yep, everything is well mixed up, all the curry powder, masala, all the seasoning is fully incorporated into everything there. So we're going to cover this up and let it uh, bunge for a little bit. Hi Jenna, you came down? Yes. Why? I wanted to know what you guys were cooking. We are cooking Aksidadi. Come, let me show you. We're making some goat meat. See? You're gonna eat goat? You know this goat? Oh, goat halal. Wow, you punch all up nice. We didn't add water. 
Yeah, so this loses its own water here. So we're gonna let this water burn out and then we'll go to the next step, right? So Jana, since I'm cooking goat there today, I have a question for you. What is goat favorite sport drink? Uh, Gatorade? Gatorade. Oh, you are close, Jen. <laughs> You're very close. What do you say? Say hi to everybody. Hi. Everybody take a big up. Uh, shout out to everyone, right? Who's watching? You blushing today, Jenna? What happened? You look like you just woke up. Did you just wake up? No. Oh. You want to say something? You look like you have something to say. <laughs> yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, where were pencils invented? Pennsylvania. Wow, Yay. nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, why do fish live in salt water? Because they like salt water better? No. Because they, they don't um, like pepper? pepper would make them sneeze. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's your favorite niece Jenna here. As you already know. <laughs> now you know. If you don't know, now, now you, know. you know. Right? Yeah. Nice Jen. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Also, guys, please remember that I always read all of your comments. And um I love you all so much. And I'm really grateful that you guys keep supporting the channel. Nice, Jen. Nice. We all love and appreciate you. Yes. 100%, right? Yes. So we forget to add some uh, meat tenderizer. We it's, always, not, it's not too late. Yeah, it's not too late. We always like to add meat tenderizer to our meat so we make it nice, soft, and boil. Especially since when I get too strong teeth. Yeah, the kids don't like the meat like half boiled. Yeah. You see how it's looking there now? Yeah, it's looking good. So it's starting to burn the water out already. So once that is burned, we'll give it some water on top and then we'll let that boil to make the gravy, right? And, and check this out. The man said this this a uh, bay leaf. This thing look like a mango leaf in that <laughs> <laughs> in that like? And no, not that. It's fresh. It's no, because it's fresh. When you do the other one, it dry. So that's why you get the cripsy and uh, break up, right? But I ne no, I never see a bay leaf big like this. <laughs> like a mango leaf. All right, so we're cooking mango leaf curry there for the goat. Yes. <laughs> so after this has been bunjoling here for a while, we got all the water burned out, right? Or the fat. So... We're putting in some aloo there for eating, or potato. Eating the man like a little aloo and so. So that is looking real good there. So now we're gonna add some water in. I see aloo in water for no. Yep. Yeah. So you shouldn't take long now. I'm gonna cover it, right? Yeah, give it a decent amount because you know, goat meat a little bit harder than chicken. Even though this seems like a young goat. All right, so we're gonna cover that a little bit more. Yeah, that should be good. Yep. Yeah. So we wanted to do a little gravy too, so at the end, so we're gonna cover this up now and let it boil. Check it out, real nice. Put on the heat real high now. Yep. Turn up the heat all the way up, high heat, and we let this uh, bubble up here. And the mango leaf still there, you see? The mango leaf still holding. Yeah, I think it's gonna give a good taste. Yep, if you can smell the aroma from this already, so this not, is gonna come out if good. If not, I'm gonna go back to that uncle store there tomorrow. <laughs> so here we got some chow here. Rita, make some nice chow here. I don't know if we should call it mango chow because I know you got other stuff in it, right? No, it is. It is mango chow? It's right. Rita version. Okay, so it's Rita version of mango chow. We got mango, pineapple, baby cucumber, we got some fresh wuri wuri pepper out the garden, some cilantro, garlic, and some fresh garlic, right? And lemon juice. And of course some lemon juice, so let's uh, try this out. Rita say, let me eat this first, because she know wants a good curry done, we eat a lot of good curry, so she know I meet out all the good curry, see, so make this, let me fill up some space. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude! <laughs> she want me to stay healthy, not too much of meat. Nice. All right, so let's try this out here. So, 
We have here some nice mango, well seasoned up here, and we get the cucumber added to it too. And with all the seasoning, man, this is good. Spicy? No, not too spicy, it's perfect, but I know you'll probably want it more spicy. Yeah, I'm gonna put pepper sauce on. But this is pepper. perfect for me, because I don't eat too much of pepper. I do eat some, but not a lot, so. This is perfect. Let me try the pineapple. The pineapple came from all the way Guyana. I paid $12.99 for the pineapple. Guyana pineapple. Oh. Mm. Is it? Pineapple is good. I guess with all this flavoring up and everything, all the seasoning, it come out real good. Good job, good job. Thank you, thank you. So take a look here guys at this goat curry here. See? Come out nice and shatak mata. Well boiled. Look at its goodness here. Man look. Miss look Lila, 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 Lila. Wipe, wipe them up. <laughs> you let Lila, Lila all the time in the curry man. <laughs> because this thing come out so shatak mata. And then stop it off with some nice shallot there. Man look at this. I'm gonna enjoy this in a few. You cut it up? Yep, right now. Yeah, turn it up. And we made it with a little bit of extra gravy because of uh, eating like a little gravy and so. And we think we tell Gabba and Fritz, you gonna make some dal puri or what? Yeah, man, where you take worries. Alright, so not just rice, we're gonna have it with some dal puri. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, guys, it's your favorite nephew here. My parents just cooked this goat curry and look at it, it looks really amazing. It looks like that, I want to eat it because it looks nice. <laughs> wow, Ethan, you like it? Yeah. So what you got here? A little bit of heart made out of live. Yeah. Right? And some nice delicious goat curry. Check it out, check it out. You don't eat with your fingers, Ethan? This tastes really nice. It tastes like fresh from Guyana. Really? Yeah. Go ahead, try your meat and stuff. And Ethan gonna wash this down with a nice orange soda, right? Yeah. You don't like to eat with your fingers? Alright guys, this food tastes really nice. I'm gonna go and enjoy it now. Bye. Okay, enjoy it then. Ethan, you enjoy the goat curry, boy? Yeah. Goat and rice? It's good, right? Yeah. Who is goat's favorite president? George Washington. <laughs> no, good try. Billy Clinton. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. You want some more, Ethan? No. You good? Yeah. How you rate it? 10 out of 10. <laughs> good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Yep, yep. Cheers with your soda. Cheers. Happy Saturday, right? How was school last week? Good. Okay. Did you learn anything new? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I can't give it out. Can't give it out. Why? Top secret? Yeah. Yes, guys. Yes. So, Ethan just finished eating, right? I'm sure Ethan gave it a 10 out of 10. Now it's my turn to find out. Uh, Rita like on me, it with my hand, and I, I guess all of you guys like it too, right? So, let's go in there. Yes. Yeah, so, let me dig in here. Instead of going with the rice first, let me try the goat. See how it's nice and well. Come in, Rita. See, man, this is uh, real good. Hmm. This is a young Billy Good. Let me take a piece of aloo too. And get some goat meat and rice. And sane this thing up. Real good. Rita, you're not gonna try some today, man? You don't know where you miss out, huh? 
You're not eat for me, man. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> so, this is very good. The flavor is very good. And like I said, the goat is uh, fully boiled. Right? So one day a pandit was crossing over the river, Barbish River. Not talk about pandit when you eat meat. Oh, okay. A priest. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Precise meat. <laughs> across over the river. So while you cross over the liver, a river. I'm thinking about liver here because I'm eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a cow pundit name, hey. Uh, so you see a couple of guys he call them. He said to sing, sing um, hymns or bhajans since you know I'm a cow god name. And guys say no. He say. Well, you don't know you're missing out on life. You see another guy, Jackson. You're just playing any musical instrument and stuff. The guy said no. He said, well, you don't know you're missing out on life here. So anyway, they both had an accident now and they both started to go down. And two young guys now see the priest and they ask him, do you know how to swim? He said no. Well, he said, I'm sorry for you, you're missing out on your whole life now. <laughs> you not get it? I got it. <laughs> so he's gonna die now. Mm -hmm. So it's not about playing a musical instrument or singing, right? It's the skills that you know. Well, look at this goat meat, hey man. Rice, nice and boiled. Chatak, matak there. You got a lot of gravy here yet. I know, I'm coming for them. So that's what I'm telling you, you don't know what you're missing out on in life. Cheers, guys. And look at this. We're taking me a fresh frozen pepper right off the garden there, right? <laughs> fresh but frozen. Fresh when it was picked. Now it's frozen. Mmm. Good. The meat is fresh. Meat is fresh, yeah. And it looked like a young. It's very young. Yeah, it's fully boiled. And um, like we said from earlier, right? With the bone, the bone wasn't too big. And while I had to recut it, it wasn't too hard. And eat and shiny plate, eat and enjoy it. So you see, you don't have to steam your meat. It's a preference, right? Some people prefer Preferable, them. yeah. But um, like we said, we prefer to do it this way. We let it um, bunge down dry, right? So if there's any fat, it can melt down. Look at this meat here, man. We got the meat! <laughs> <laughs> if Jenna was here, she would say you're doing commercial for Arby's. <laughs> So enjoy your food, eat Krishna. Thank you. You're not gonna come join me? You sure no one try a piece? You know, I plenty there for me already. No, I can't eat for you. I'm eating for myself. But if you want to come and join me, come on. Feel free to do so. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, baby. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'm not shy. I don't eat red meat. Alright, thank you guys for tuning in, right? I love my guy on